सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ उद्धवगीता चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फोर पेज थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी नाइन वर्स नंबर एट हंतते कथयिष्यामी मम धर्मासु मंगलान यान श्रद्धयाचरन मर्त्य मृत्यु जयति दुर्जय हैविंग हर्ड दि एंटर टीचिंग फ्रॉम लॉर्ड कृष्णा Uddhava asked the ultimate question how one can reach you the Bhagavan. Reaching Bhagavan means going beyond death. Mrityun Jayaha, the word we hear, the one who conquers the death is called mrityunjaya according to vedic scriptures mrityujaya means immortality immortality means freedom from death freedom from death means recognizing that i the jeevatma I am ever free from birth and death. Every one of us possess naturally, instinctively, fear of death. Nobody wants to disappear. Everyone wants to continue. Even other living beings also. everyone wants to continue but the body has got declension that is mrutyu that is death it is inevitable therefore naturally person feels uncomfortable with the death regarding this death what people normally think what shastra talks about that death bhakta markandeya conquered death because of shiva bhakti like that one example they show and sati savitri also brought her husband's life back by conquering that yama <laughs> like these stories and all they say excellent stories what these stories are conveying to us when they are concrete way presented sati savitri bhakta markandeya stories the abstract form of teaching to take us to drive us towards that abstract teaching there is no mrutyu at all mrutyu is only the declension of the body body is matter it has to deteriorate subtle body and gross body separation is called death since you are not the body at all you are not the matter prakriti maya you are the consciousness self you are free from death recognizing this fact you are death free atman body is bound to have declension or death body death also is not atyantikam it is only apekshikam the matter mix with the total matter the gross body matter does not go it only mix with total matter 
So nothing is going to die. Understanding this fact is called Mrityu Jayaha. Mrityu hu eva nasti iti jnanam. Prapti hi eva Mrityu Jayaha. The knowledge that I am deathless is called conquering the death. Getting knowledge that I am deathless, I am Marana Rahitaha, therefore Najayate Namriyateva Kadachita. This knowledge alone is called Mrutyu Jayahan, conquering the death. So, in this verse, Krishna Paramatma says, Durjayam Mrutyum Jayati. A person, when he follows certain religious disciplines, he conquers the Mrutyu. Durjayam means uh, very difficult to conquer with any other uh, techniques or methods. Mrityum Jayati, I am going to teach you those practices by which you follow, those practices you, you can conquer the death. What are those? Krishna is so happy. He says, Hanta. Very good. Well, that you are asking a question. I am going to ask you. I am going to tell you, Te Kadhaishyami. I am going to teach you, explain, I am going to narrate you what are those uh, sumangalan, mama dharman, what are those uh, sumangala means that which gives happiness, mangalam, auspicious. Mrityu is inauspicious. Birth is auspicious. This is a natural convention. Sumangalan means Sukha Rupan, that which are giving happiness. Those practices, Dharman, my teachings, Dharma means here teachings, that religious practices, Mama Dharman. Yan Shraddhaya Acharan, by following which practices with Shraddha, Martyaha, the mortal one. We, the human beings, are mortals. Martyaha means uh, the one who has got mortality. Mortality means uh, this body has to disappear. That is mortality. When you identify with the body, body has got uh, mortal nature, mortality. I identify with the, my body, I think I superimpose the mortality of the body as my mortality. So removing that wrong notion, removing that wrong notion, the mortality of the body is not my mortality. I am different from the body. That knowledge, Martyaha, Durjayam Mrityum Jayati Aham Kathayishyami. What are those disciplines? In the ninth verse, he is giving a lot of series of disciplines, how one has to lead one's life. Manasa, Vacha, Karmana. Mentally, verbally and physically. Up to here, we saw in the last class, the long gap. Now we are entering the ninth verse. Kurya sarvani karmani madartham shanakai smaran mayar pitamanaschittaha madharmatma manoratihi one has to revel in Atma Manu Ratihi Mama Dharma Mad Dharma is called Mama Dharma Mad Dharma Atma Manu Ratihi means 
वन हेज टू बिकम कमिटेड टू मध्धर्मेशु आत्मा मनसा रति यधर्मात्मनोरति नेम ऑफ ए पर्सन हुच पर्सन हु इज ही दट पर्सन हु प्राक्टीस सर्वाणी कर्मा कर्मा मदर्थम ऑल ऐक्टिविटी फॉर् मै से For my sake, whoever practices all actions, activities, why to perform all activities for Bhagwan? Because nothing belongs to you. First of all, we have to recognize nothing belongs to us. Everything belongs to Bhagwan, including our body also. Whatever air you are um, taking. inhalation water air everything whatever you are eating coming from the earth all panchabhutas are not in your hands they are all coming given by bhagwan therefore bhagwan is the owner we are only the consumers whatever is given by bhagwan as a consumer you are only having limited powers limited control including your own body <coughs> on our own body how much control we have got we don't have control on the old age of this body we don't have control completely upon the disease what body gets of course we don't have control over the death of the body what we have in our hands nothing but a human being has got a lot of pride that i am having everything in her everything is not belongs to you given by bhagwan to use to make to make use of for your survival bhagwan gives and bhagwan will take we do not know when he will take that's why you are like a trusty make use of them properly make use of them properly you have to give back to bhagwan never possess anything as yours that for sarvani karmani madartham ishvara arpanam astu rama arpanam astu that is called karma yoga karma yoga in short form sarva karmani madartham kuriyat ishvara arpana buddhya karma kuru prasada buddhya phalam swikuru may you do your actions as an offering to the lord may you offer do actions as an offering to the lord it is called ishvara arpana buddhi then when the result comes prasada buddhya phalam swikuru as a prasada given by bhagwan take all the results of action results of your actions take them as prasada without grumbling without murmuring favorable or unfavorable results सुखम आर दुखम यू हेव टू आक्सप्ट सर्वाणी कर्मा मदर्थम कुरिया हव शनक वित् विथट एनी डईकॉटमी शनक स्लोली ग्रैड्युअली यू हेव टू आफर एव्रिथिंग टू भगवान् smaran without any dichotomy in the mind without any doubt in the mind whether god listen to my prayers or not whether god is favorable to me or not all these type of questions and doubts should not come when a human being is an in vulnerable condition situation difficult situation 
we demand and command the lord question the lord's bhagwan's justice unak kann illaya kaad illaya kaavindri koovinal kolamittene unak kaadal vidavillaya ani people sing a lot of songs on bhagwan why bhagwan you are troubling me bhagwan never trouble us bhagwan only gives our karma phalam we have to remember that when we are having any suffering at any level that is my karma phalam i am exhausting now how bhagwan is responsible why bhagwan has to give trouble to you bhagwan need not give any trouble we are the trouble shooters <laughs> our karmas are the trouble shooters our actions out of raga dvesha likes and dislikes our karmas our mind setup is the trouble shooter correct your mind correct your actions correct your thinking correct your words then the trouble will reduce mai arpita manos chit manas chittaha ಮಯ್ಯರ್ಪಿತ ಮನೋಬುದ್ಧಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಫ್ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಮಯ್ಯರ್ಪಿತ ಮನೋಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅಕಡೆ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮನ ಚಿತ್ತ ಮನ ಚಿತ್ತ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮನಶ್ಚಿತ್ತ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಮೈ ಅರ್ಪಿತ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಅಂಡ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ಮೀ ಮಧರ್ಮ ಆತ್ಮ ಮನೋರಥಿ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ರೆವೆಲ್ ರೆವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಸೋನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ರೆವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ರೆವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಆಲ್ ರಿಲಿಜಿಯಸ್ ಡಿಸಿಪ್ಲಿನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ all of them mad dharma all the religious conduct one has to maintain with shraddha and bhakti commitment yadrishi bhavana yasya siddhir bhavati tadrishi as you were shraddha faith in bhagavan that much benefit you will get upon doctor upon medicine upon ishvara upon astrologer daivagne teerthe daivagne bheshaje gurau yadrishi bhavanayasya siddhir bhavati tadrishi like that here also bhagavan says mat dharma mat plus dharma plus atma plus mano chittaha here um atma means mind mad dharma atma manoratihi atma manoratihi means atma manasah atma manasah one's own oneself mad dharma atma manoratihi upon my teachings dharma means you can take teachings of bhagavan what are the teachings of bhagavan that are all going to come now if you don't remember listen once again bhagavan tells how many times i will tell again we will forget bhagavan's job is what the teacher always repeats so that that will enter in our mind next shloka number 10 what uh, from 10th shloka onwards uh, five shlokas um, up to 12th verse 10 to 12 five verses uh, lord krishna is giving all disciplines not 12 but 15 15th verse we will see that ಪುಣ್ಯಾಶ್ರೇತ ಮದ್ಭಕ್ತ 
तैसाधुभिश्रितान देवासुर मनुष्येशु मद्भक्ताचा मद्भक्ताचरितानिच चरितानिच What one has to do to conquer the death? Madhbhaktaihi sadhu vihi shritaan. One has to resort to two. One has to approach sadhu vihi, good people, noble people. By noble people who are madhbhaktas, my devotees. One should Sritan means resort to, to approach to sacred um, sadhu vihi madhbhaktaha means uh, devotees of Bhagavan. Bhagavatar we call. What do you mean by Bhagavatar? The one who talks about Bhagavan is called Bhagavatar. In Tamil Nadu, in Andhra, anyway, everywhere they call Bhagavatar. Who talks about Ramayana is a Bhagavatar, Bhagavatam, Ram Bhagavatar we say, because they talk about Bhagavan. So Bhaktas of Bhagavan, Deshan Punyan Ashrayet. One has to resort to those places which are sacred, sacred places, in sacred places, and sacred people also. One has to resort to. Not only that, Deva Asura Manusheshu Madhbhakta Charitani. The lifestyle of Charitam means the life conduct. Charitam, their actions, actions performed by those devotees. Who are all those devotees? They may be devatas, they may be asuras, or they may be manushyas also. In devas also there are uh, many, many devotees are there. And asuras, you know, Prahlada, he is an asura, but he is a great devotee. He is their charitam, you have to listen to their charitam. And Manusheshu, many rishis are also great bhaktas of Bhagavan. Because whoever think about Bhagavan, whoever worship Bhagavan, if you contact with them, you associate with them, you will also become a noble person. Bhagavat Chintana Dwara Deva Asura Manusheshu Madhbhakta Charitani and their lifestyle, madhbhaktaha tesham acharitani, acharitani karmani cha ashrayeta, we have to supply ashrayeta, we have to resort to Prahlada chanted Om Namo Narayanaya, you also chant that mantra, how many times ask Prahlada, how many times he chanted, you also chant. You ask Dhruva, you see, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Chant. Like that, their charitam, their, their, their glorification, Prahalada Stuti, any, and Stuti comes, Jagaraja also wrote Kirtanas on that. Prahalada Charitam. Prahalada Charitam is a great uh, work. Um, many people sing songs and they do harikatha also on that. Prahalada Stuti, when Narsimha Swami appears, Prahalada glorifies Lord Narsimha. Similarly, Dhruva also, uh, Narada also. Narada is also a great bhakta, Ambarisha is a great bhakta. Like that, Bali Chakravarti is also a great bhakta. Like that, many, many um, devatas, rishis, manushyesh means rishis, all rishis, even asuras are also, there are good, Balichakravarti is an asura raja, Prahalada is also an asura, but they were great bhaktas. Their life style, what their life conduct, whatever 
way they lived one has to listen about them and follow them then what mrutyum jayati that is the phala phalashruti next verse 11th verse so um 10 11 12 13 14 uh, from 11 to 15 we can take not uh, 11 from 12 12 13 14 15 16 five shlokas he gives uh, uh, special sadhanas now verse number 11 पृथक्सत्रेण वाम पर्वयात्रोत्सवान् कारयेद गीतनृत्याद महाराज विभूति बिफोर गोइंग टू ट्वेल्थ वेर्स in 11th verse lord krishna says how can and one perform that uh, activities connected to bhagavan bhagavan gives already we are doing that bhagavan reminds that prathak alone you can do puja worship at home for bhagavan or satrena by associating with Uh, number of people satra yagam they say means hundreds and thousands of people come in that yaga that is called satra yaga in um, naimisharanyam they generally perform satrena by mingling with many people joining the group of people satrena va mahyam one should worship me in parva parva means auspicious kind situation auspicious days parva means auspicious days what are the parva dinam there are lot of parva dinams for us almost all nakshatrams are celebrated every day uh, skanda shashti desa devi navaratri desa ganesha chaturdhi desa nakshatra de include krishna ashtami rama navami all parvadinams yatra many yatras one has to do yatra not sitting at home all the time looking at tv do travel nowadays uh, if you want to go by flight also there are uh, some easy chair is there no um, wheel chair they will bring that uh, chair for you and you can they will take you into the flight they will bring you and everywhere you can go nowadays old and days old age means at home only nowadays uh, our honorable prime minister has given you know lot of concession for senior citizens no ticket for tirtha yatra for senior citizens how many of you know i do not know uh, without ticket is expenditure you can travel only for tirtha yatra all uh, pilgrimage centers you can travel you check how you can go like that you can check in the government uh, and that of the official you will get the news that parva yatra yatra means char dham yatra shabarimala yatra like that many yatras are there uh, palani you know all uh, uh, murugan places that is also yatra is there and then mahotsavan there are kumbh mela pushkarams 12 years one city will come mahamaham in tamil nadu mahamakham kumbha mela in haridwar nasik prayag kumbha mela utsavams will come all these places one has to worship lord karayet there what you have to do karayet you have to perform you have to do hmm? geeta one has to arrange 
one has to arrange the Bhagavata Saptaha um, or any Saptahams. Devi Navaratris, some big pendal, pandal they can put and give Anadanam, lot of programs. Many places people are doing that. The Kara Yet, Gita, Nritya, Adi Padatu Vadya. You have to sing the glory of Lord and dance and with instruments a lot of Gana Bajana. Hmm? Maharaja Vibhuti Bihi with royal splendor. With great royal splendor one has to do all those things. When we go to different places, pilgrimage centers you can see Many, many Swamis, uh, Mahatmas will come there to bring, bring their uh, Sishyas uh, or they arrange a lot of Upanyasams. When I went to a few times Kumbha Mela, three, two, three times I went, so all Sadhus comes from all over and they celebrate with a great splendor. Maharaja Vibhuti Bihi. So that uh, once uh, we go to Kumbha Mela, at uh, 3 o'clock, 3.30 itself, they put uh, mic, uh, Lord Namara, hmm? Shiva Namashivaya, Rama Namam, Krishna Namam, all will come from all over. Even in Haridwar also now, Rishikesh, the morning itself, temple bells you can listen, Ganga, Arati, and lot of pujas, mantras going on and on. So that type of uh, Yatra, Parva and Kumbha Mela, all these are very good to make one's mind pure. The more your mind associate with Bhagavan, you will be free from the worldly entanglements. Next verse, 12th verse onwards, Bhagavan is going to enumerate. <coughs> Mamiyam sarva bhūteshu bahiram tara pavrutam ikshetatmani chatmanam yatha swamam alashayaha amalashayaha with a pure mind yatha swam how one should observe, one should observe that love, devotion towards God just by seeing everything as God. Everything here is Ishvara. Mam eva, you look into the again first line, yatha swam bahihi antaha Apavritam Mameva. I am the one who is outside also, Antaha inside also. I am uh, inside and outside. Apavritam un uh, unconcealed, free from concealment. No one can cover me. <laughs> Apavratam anavaranam ityartha. Unconcealed me, the one who is available outside or inside. Sorry. Kam, kam means like, yatha kam, not swam. Yatha kam means like space. Space is there. You are sitting in your house. The space, hall space. Outside the hall also there is space. Space is outside the hall and inside the hall also. Like that, Bhagavan is also inside you and outside you also. Mam eva sarva bhuteshu ikshate. So seeing me alone, mam eva, me alone, in everyone, sarva bhuteshu, in everyone, ikshate, one has to see. One has to see Bhagavan only. Atmani Atmanam Atmanicha Atmanam In one's own mind. 
Atmani means in one's own mind, one has to recognize Atmanam, the Atma Swarupam, Paramatma Swarupam, Ishwara Swarupam. One has to recognize inside and outside, everywhere. Next verse, 13th verse. Iti sarvāṇi bhūtāṇi madbhāve namahā dhyute sabhāja yanmanyamānaha jñānam kevalam āśritah Mahā dhyute, O brilliant one, Uddhava, ati prāgnyaha idhyattah. Sridhara Swami says, Mahadjyuti means, Jyuti means what? Prakasha, brilliance. Mahadjyuti means Atyamta Pragnavan Uddhavaha. So because of Uddhava only we have got this Uddhava Gita. Mahadjyuti Iti Sarvani Bhutani Madhavena. It means from above shloka you have to take. Bahihi Antaha Apavrataha Mameva Sarva Bhuteshu Atmani Atmanam Ikshate. Thus one has to see oneself in everyone. Sarvani Bhutani, all beings also. Madhavena as my nature, Paramatma nature. Uh, Bhagavan is there in everything, in, our, in every andandambulu, pindandambulu, amta ramamayam, sarvam brahmamayam, sarvam ishwaramayam, sarvam krishnamayam, one God, different names. Iti sarvani bhutani, all beings. What are all those beings he is going to enumerate later? Madhavena, as me, the Bhagavan. Sabhajayan, one has to respect. Satkara, bhajayan means along with respect one has to see. We should not look down upon any creature in the creation. That's why we pour, we give milk to the serpent. We take care of all creatures, animals, birds. Sabhajayan manyamanaha, with respect, considering them as Bhagavan's amsha only, Bhagavan's form only. Kevalam jnana maashritaha, one has to Resort to that knowledge, this knowledge. What knowledge? Everything is Bhagavan. My God is superior, your God is inferior. Other religions they talk, foreign religions. All religions, other religions, foreign religions, Christianity, Islam and all this. My God alone is superior, your God is inferior. When Hindu dharma never teach like that. God is one. My God, your God is not there. God is only one. Not only one. Pujas Dayananda Swami Ji says, God alone is there. Where is the question of one, two or three? Everything is Bhagavan. Everything is sacred for us. That knowledge should come to everyone. First, start worshipping Bhagavan in the puja room, in the temple, in your heart. Later you recognize, I and God are not separate. Instead of dhasoham, soham. Where I am, He alone is in this form. Everyone is an avatara. I am also an avatara, you are also an avatara. Avatara means what? Bhagavan's amsha, Bhagavan's form only. Atma is everywhere in this form. So, Jnanam Kevalam Ashritaha. Next verse, 14. Where all the places you have to see Bhagavan? You have to see uniformly without any disparity or discretion. 
ब्रह्मणी पुलकसेने ब्रह्मणी का स्फुलिंग के ब्रह्मण्यर् के स्फुलिंग के अक्रूरे क्रूर के समदृक् पंडित मत दि श्लोक ईक्वल एंड ईक्वल इंट श्लोक विसाइन भगवदगीता विद्या विनय संपन्ने ब्राह्मणी गवि हस्तिनी शुनिचे वस्वपा केशा पंडिता समदर्शिन सेम ऐडिया भगवान ब्रिंग्स हियर ब्राह्मणी यू हैव टू सी भगवान इन ए ब्राह्मण द वन हु हैज स्टडीड वेद एक वेदी त्रिवेदी द्विवेदी चतुर्वेदी वेद वेत्ता इज कॉल ब्राह्मणी अपॉन दैट ब्राह्मण एंड पुलकसे पुलकसा मीन्स हियर द वन हु इज इलिटरेट आपोजिट टू वेद वेत्ता पुलकसा मीन्स पंचम जाति द वन हु इज पंचम जाति मीन्स नाट चतुर्वर्णस बियॉन्ड चतुर्वर्णस देर इज वन मोर जाति द शंकर देन देर इज शंकर हैपन्स एंड फादर इज अनदर कैस्ट मदर इज अनदर कैस्ट मैरिज लाइक दैट दे आर कॉल्ड पंचम दे आर कॉल्ड पुलकसा पुलकसे अपॉन सप्तमी विभक्ति स्तेने अपॉन द तीफ यू हैव टू हैव ए एवरी वन इज भगवान स्वरूप ओनली यू कैन दिस नो आउटसाइड विद्वत्व इलिटरेट आर द कैरेक्टर दट इज बिलांग्स टू देर मैंड बट आत्मा इज वन स्तेने ब्रह्मणे मीन्स वन हू रेस्पेक्ट ए ब्राह्मण आर वन हू गिव दानम टू ए ब्राह्मण ब्रह्मण्ये यू हैव टू सी भगवान अर्के मीन सूर्य वन द सूर्य आलसो यू हैव टू सी द लॉर्ड अलोन स्फुलिंग के इवन एन ए स्पार्क फायर स्पार्क ऑफ ए फायर आलसो यू शुड सी द भगवान अक्रूरे क्रूर के अ पर्सन हु इज नोबल नॉट क्रूयल You have to see respect to that person as Bhagwan's amsha. Cruel, okay? Any cruel person also? Normally, cruel person we hate and we criticize. One who is noble, we respect. But uh, internally, both are one and the same. Atma swarupa only. Cruel, okay? Cha eva samadruk even mindness. equally we have to see equally means what internally you must have respect to all of them while giving respect to outside pandita and all they can be there but you should not look down upon them they have their way of respecting vyavaharikataya but you should not uh, look down upon any one because everyone is bhagwan's amsha only samadruk even equanimous towards everyone panditah matah that person alone is called real panditah panditah means what panda gnanam asya asti iti panditah ज्ञानम मीन्स वाट टाइप ऑफ ज्ञान एनी ज्ञान वर्लडी नॉलेज एंड स्पिरीचुअल नॉलेज रियल नॉलेज इज वाट भगवान इज इन सैड एंड औट सैड अंतर्बिश्च यत्सर्व व्याप्यनारायण स्थित भगवान नारायण ओनली इज देर इन सैड एंड औट सैड वाटर ईज गाड एयर ईज गाड and artis god bhumata gomata all devatas each element we consider as devata even our sense organs are also devatas vag devata ashwini devata chakshur devata all devatas are sitting in the body then when we do mahanyasam all the devatas we 
worship them in the body so body we don't take just like a physical body matter according to sanatana dharma we consider this body is the temple devatas are sitting in this each sense organ hastayor indraha padayor vishnu like that in tattva bodha we saw all devatas are there but we forget of course we know only how to put nail polish <laughs> to the nails we know how to put lipstick but we don't know how devatas are sitting and blessing and this we have to teach to our children then they will have a reverence towards body also they never abuse otherwise kandade kaarchi kondade kolam and manas buddhi goes here where then person will suffer person to lead a happy peaceful life one should have good association satsanga punyakshetra darshanam devalaya darshanam so many things bhagwan is telling celebrating festivals so many ways hmm? next verse continuation of this uh, um, topic um, about how to visualize bhagwan everywhere nareshvam bhishnam madbhavam pumso bhavayato chirat spardhasu yati raskara saahankaraviyanti hi if the proper guidance education we are not um, given to children they will develop lot of samskaras uh, negative samskaras and they grow once they become adults that samskara only crop up it will not go easily especially modern days we have to provide a good ambience for children once you uh, sow the seed in the children it will never go waste life long it will work one day or other it will come to surface that's why grandparents and parents must uh, take care of their children growth how they are growing within our culture they have to grow nareshu among human beings abhishnam always madbhavam my presence one has to see bhavayataha pumsaha thinking my presence in every human beings madbhavam bhavayataha pumsaha achirat sigram achirat means immediately that person will attain free from go away from him all will go away what are all will go away all negativities will go away what are they spardha competitiveness asuya jealousy tiraskara na rejection sahankara pride all of them viyanti go away he means definitely when when a person always see my presence in everyone from that person spardha will go away tiraskara will go away asuya will go away ahankara also will go away that means what nimmadiya irpa he will be happy and peaceful or she will be happy and peaceful when this negativities goes away how they will go only when you respect others as you respect yourself you give respect to them because as bhagwan only everything is ishvara how can you see anything away from ishvara ishvara is not sitting somewhere else bhagwan says ishvara sarva bhutana hrudeshe arjuna tishthati brahmayan sarva bhutani yantra rudhani mayaya bhagwan krishna often says i am there in everyone in vibhuti yoga what bhagwan said 
I am a rasam hamapsukaunteya prabhasmi shesha surya yoho. I am in surya, I am in the water, I am in the taste in the water is myself. Gandha in the earth is myself. The brilliance in the sun is myself. Why we are doing Surya Namaskara? Because Ishwara. Aushadhi also is Ishwara. Ocean Ishwara. What not is Ishwara? Everything is Ishwara for us. Many people don't understand this. This is the greatness of Sanatana Dharma, Hindu Dharma or Vaidika Dharma. I am proud to be born as a Hindu in this culture. I am proud. What Vivekananda said, if I am born again, I will born in this country only. In Bharat only, I will born again to serve my people. He said, that is the patriotism. Desha Bhakti, one should have. Desha Bhakti and Ishwara Bhakti both are not different. We see the Desha is also as a Bhartam Mata, Devi. Therefore, Desha Bhakti and Daiva Bhakti I don't consider as separate. If you don't have Daiva Bhakti, you cannot not have Desha Bhakti also. If you have Desha Bhakti, you will have Daiva Bhakti also. So one Bhakti is there, all are come into that fold. Next verse. Visrujya Swayamanamast Swayamanaswan Drisham Bridam Chadai Hikim Pranam Praname Dandavad Bhuma Praname Dandavad Bhuma Ashwa Chandala Gokaram whom you have to worship, whom you have to respect, we are given in the second line, Pranamet. May you do Namaskara to everything in this universe. When people criticize you, why you are pouring uh, milk to the snake, uh, you know, the foreigners, you know, Europeans said, the, uh, India means nothing but um, people of snake charmers, snake charmers, they criticize us. Now you see the uh, Europe, how it is burning. You know? They made many countries to burn, now they are burning. So Papam will never go away. How much they are suffering now. So once you do harm to others, that karma will not leave you. It will come behind you, that Papa karma. So we worship uh, every animal, bird, etc. How Swayam, uh, sorry, Smayamanam, Smayamana Swan, and ignoring, uh, Visrijja, ignoring what Vridamcha Daihikim, based on birth and status. May you drop that disparity, discrimination between people. People will criticize you, what you are fool, you are worshipping this and that, you have no any intelligence, they say. Don't feel shame, don't feel shame. I do not know English, I don't know this and all. Why you want to know? You need not know. If you know your culture, it is great and you know about your own ancestors, their greatness, it is wonderful. We need not uh, know anything else. See, this is that culture which cultivate the divinity in the human being. Drisham Vridam. Smayamana Swan. That means ignoring that people will ridicule you, people will criticize you, or people will look at you as a foolish person, laugh at you certain actions when you do, hmm? leaving all of them aside, visrajya, vridam, don't feel shame, vridam means shame, lajja, leave that, don't feel shame to do namaskara to uh, cow, gomata, bhumata, 
गंगा माता तुलसी माता गीता माता वी वर्शिप हु आर ऑल यू हैव टू वर्शिप दंडवत प्रणमेत लाइक साष्टांग नमस्कार यू डू भूम अपॉन द अर्थ वैन यू लुक एट द वाट शिव डॉग आलो वी वर्शिप भैरव वी काल डॉग एज भैरव चंडाल श्व मीन्स डॉग चंडाल मीन्स एश पर्सन शूद्र वन हू डज ऑल दिस वाट स्कैवेजर वर्क चंडाल वाट शंकराचार्य से चंडालोस्त सतुद्विजोस्त गुरुरीषा मनीषा मम ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य शूद्र ऑल ऑफ दम ब्राह्मणों से मुखमाशी बाहूराजन्य यद्य पद्याघुम शूद्रो अजायत ऑल वर्णा बॉर्न फ्रॉम द बॉडी ऑफ द लॉर्ड अलोन दर इज नो इनफीरियर एंड सुपीरियर द वर्क वाट दे आर डूइंग इज आलो नाट सुपीरियर आर इनफीरियर द पर्सन हू ईज क्लीनिंग दिन ड्रेनेज वी वोट कम ड्रेनेज गेट ब्लॉक अवर लाइफ विल ब्लॉक so drainage who are doing that scavengers whom you call the chandalas they are all really bhagwan's amsha only go means cow karam means ass donkey as a donkey etc you can take many of them like that other creatures pranamya pranamet dandavat bhumau you may may you do namaskara to all of them that's why we respect bhuta yagna involves trees creatures animals birds etc manushya yagna all fellow human beings without seeing any caste creed and color respect everyone but do your varna dharma ashrama dharma it is your personal in the name of varna dharma you should not disgrade the other caste other varnas all are equal in the bhagwan this creation next verse yavat sarveshu bhuteshu madbhavo nopajayate tavadeva mupasita vangmana kaya vritti bihi now so from 12 to 16 five shlokas bhagwan has given um, life map how you have to think how you have to do how you have to speak with uh, how you have to look at everyone as bhagwan after giving that now he says if it is difficult yavat sarveshu bhutesh until you get madbhavah my presence until you see my presence in all of them if it is not coming to you now upajayate if that is that means until which time you are not able to see my presence in everyone uniformly now upajayate then what you have to do tavat until that time tavat एवं उपासीता मे यू वर्षिप मी लाइक दिस वाक् मन काय वृत्ति सो इंटर्नल का ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन शुड कम मानसिक भावना शुड चेंज अंडरस्टैंडिंग शुड कम दट्स वै वेदांत स्टडी इट गिवस अ क्लियर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबउट यू एंड द यूनिवर्स एंड अबउट ईश्वर without vedanta gnanam a person is ignorant until that time what you have to do with shraddha bhakti manasa vacha karmana mana vak kaya vritti bihi by the actions you have to do make it fake it and make it na no? with understanding internal understanding your respect others is good If you are not able to understand, still you are hung, having hankara, suya, smartha. At least do physically, at least verbally you do. One day it will become real for you. And that's why manavakaya vritti bhi by your actions. 
mental mental actions mental thoughts verbal actions verbal activities speech and physical activities may you do deliberately once you do deliberately they become spontaneous and they will lead you to highest knowledge sarvam brahmatmakam tasya vidyayatma manishaya paripashyan puramet sarvata puramet sari paripashyan nu paramet sarvato mukta samshaya so once a person knows all this clearly sarvam brahmatmakam tasya everything is brahman for him nothing is separate how he has got vidyaya by knowledge what is that knowledge going to come later verses om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi Oh